Now, and I wanted to show you what the U-2 spy plane looks like. Keep in mind, this thing has been uh, uh, serving our country for more than uh, 50, well, more than 60, 70 yeah. years now. Is in 1953, 55. And uh, it, it's such a beautiful plane. And they're going to be out here all weekend long. You can come take a look at them. But it fits in right with the history of Mather. And uh, uh, it's an incredible base with an incredible history. I want to bring in the person who served here three times throughout his career, Colonel Bob Martinelli, to talk about this. Uh, and, and Colonel, thank you so much for joining us today. It is a treat to talk to you. Glad to be here. So uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, there's different themes every year for the Capitol Air Show. And this year we are focusing on something really re very interesting, the Cold War. Yeah. How is that going to be presented for the air show? Well, every, every year we try to develop a theme that's consistent with our mission of honoring our past. Right. So this year we selected the Cold War. And then with that theme, we try to select aircraft and, and different activities on the ramp, uh, storyboards that, to depict the history of that. You, you led here with the U-2. Yeah. The Cuban Missile Crisis occurred during that Cold War period right. from the end of World War II until mm -hmm. 1991 or two, when the Cold War ended. These guys were used heavily throughout yes. that monitor, yes. right? And that, to have the U-2 here on the ramp and, and the crews that fly it today, but to look back to the history of it, 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. You know, the Cold War had the United States and the Soviet Union standing toe to toe, yeah, absolutely. Right? hoping we'd never go to full on war. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of skirmishes during that period of right. time, all of which were dangerous. I mean, the Korean War, the Cuban Missile Crisis, yeah. the Vietnam War. And, and when we talk about the history and, and the Cold War, and I think a lot of people hear these events and they, oh, that's part of history. But Mather played a key role in that. We, we had um, bombers on our runways here, ready to fly at a moment's mm -hmm. notice. Talk to me about that. Well, that was a big part of the Cold War, was uh, nuclear bombers sitting alert, hard alert, 24-7. And they were sitting on the ramp with a full fuel load that would take them to their targets quite a ways away. So at any moment, they could yeah. go, and, and if we needed them to be right. fly across the world, they could fly, they could bomb. That's correct. When the horn went off, as we called it, when we stood alert, both bombers and tankers were on alert. When the horn went off, you had about four or five minutes to get to your airplane, wow. light the engines up, and start taxiing and hit the runway. First one of the runways lead, take off, and really about 15 seconds apart would be the, the interval on those airplanes taking off. 15, I mean, it, it's mind boggling. When you see planes now, they're so far apart. To imagine these big B-52 bombers, yeah. 15 seconds apart, <laughs> I mean, it, yeah. how did you logistically figure those things out? Well, you, you uh, there's a lot of prayer involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. Now, Colonel, you have also a unique connection to Mather. Can you talk about that real quick? Well, I. I went through flight training here in 1970, got my wings as a navigator. I went to KC-135, flew yep. operationally, but then came back here. Everybody wants to come back to Mather. It's lovely in right. Sacramento, yeah. of yeah. course. But I came back here in 1986 and commanded one of the training squadrons here. And then I was fortunate to come back in 1992 and command the wing. And our mission then was to close down. Right. The, war, the Cold War had yeah. been won. Yeah. The bombers and tankers were already gone. They had yeah. been redeployed elsewhere. And then we were shutting down his wing and transferring its mission to Texas. And that's where it stood up there. There's so much history. And Bob, you, and like you said, he's, they've got storyboards. you got to come out here and look at the storyboards because you get to see a lot of the pictures. And it really brings this history alive mm -hmm. and ties it into Mather. Thank you so much for joining us today. I and thank you, you for your hours. service. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank yes. You. My pleasure. Incredible service and incredible stories. Colonel, thank you.